Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove a taper lock on a pulley. If you've never dealt with one, that's what's holding this pulley on. It's this thing here, it's called a taper lock. Now, this has two bolts, a lot of them have three. They're usually on only bigger industrial things. Um, I've seen them on big air compressors and pumps and whatnot. So, all you need to do is loosen. The bolts from the side they're in because these are what's drawing the taper together and what's holding the parts together the reason we're doing this is there's a little bit of a bearing issue so, so take these bolts out there's one Okay, now you'll notice these holes are bigger. These are clearance holes for these bolts. The two holes that didn't have bolts in them to begin with are threaded. So you take the screws that you just pulled out of there. Little bit of lubricant down there. Get started. Now you want to turn these evenly. So run them down until they touch. This one's a little, threads are a little gummy on that one. I'll pass, once that's all apart, I'll pass a tap through it. Okay, now, they're both even. So now, just a half turn at a time, or quarter turn. Push. I'll do it as even as possible. And you'll feel really quick that they're, uh, you'll feel it kind of walking off there. Okay. There we go. See, that pulley is now free. And you see the this is key, not the actual pulley. It's just the taper that's holding that on. So yeah, that's how you, and a lot of these too, this, the pulley will be part of this. The pulley will be up above. And once you take this part out, the uh, whole pulley will just come off. That is how you disassemble a taper lock fitting. Video. So here's the two components. You can see there's a split in there. And this is slightly tapered and the inside of this is slightly tapered so this fits onto the keyway on the shaft so as this bolt pulls these together it squishes this onto the shaft which mechanically locks it and then this bolts hold this to this so that's a little follow-up explanation of that so now i can finish Getting these bearings out, and that'll be a separate video. Again, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.